Oktoberfest 2023 will not have the usual t-shirt and stickers as a reward. This has been announced in the official website along with the reasons behind this change. But let me add a little bit more context before we dive into that. First of all, what is Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest is a month-long celebration of open source software, having the goal of encouraging people to contribute to open source projects. The cool thing is that through Oktoberfest, you might discover an amazing project that you didn't know about, or find the motivation to contribute to a project you already use, and maybe even become a maintainer one day. You can, and should, contribute to open source all year long. But Oktoberfest is a great opportunity to get started. What makes this event so special is that during this celebration, basically the month of October, some of your contributions will be counted toward a personal goal. And that's where the rewards come in. In order to complete the challenge, you need four pull requests on GitHub or merge requests on GitLab merge in repositories participating in the event. There are some rules on what makes a PR valid, but it's pretty straightforward. I might even talk about that in another video. By the way, I'm Leonardo and I talk about web development and open source on this channel, just in case you want to subscribe. The thing is, in the past years, the reward for completing the challenge were a t-shirt and some stickers. This was a great incentive for people to participate, but it also created some problems. But what were the troubles with the t-shirts? First of all, physical rewards were a limited amount and awarded as first in, first served, causing some people to see the month-long celebration as a timed race to secure the rewards as fast as possible, within the first few days of October if possible. This also caused a lot of spammy and low quality pull requests, which is not exactly the purpose of the event. Besides, t-shirts and any other physical reward have to be shipped, which is not free, financially and environmentally. To slightly mitigate it, last year each winner could choose between a t-shirt or a tree planted in their name which not only avoided sending some t-shirts, but also helped the environment. So here's the question, why no more physical swags? The official announcement is titled as Going Digital for Rewards. In short, sending so many t-shirts, they claim over 50,000 have been shipped, is definitely not sustainable. The cost will be really high, and same goes for the environmental impact. In addition, in some countries, the participants had to pay an extra fee and taxes when receiving the package, even exceeding the value of the t-shirt itself, which makes sending t-shirts not an ideal solution for everyone. And to be honest, if someone was participating only to get a free t-shirt, they were kind of missing the whole point of the event. What's the new reward then? Last year, Everyone received some digital badges for each of the four valid pull requests. And it seems we received new shiny badges this year too. In addition, instead of the t-shirts, the organizers will plant a tree for the first 50,000 participants who complete the challenge. The thing is, you should not participate to October 1st just for the rewards, or actually not for the physical and direct rewards. The real prize is the experience you get by contributing to open source, which includes the people you meet, the project you discover, and the skills you learn. And with that said, what's your opinion on this change? Do you think they should have kept t-shirts to incentivize people to participate? Or do you think that they weren't that necessary and the new rewards are enough? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about Oktoberfest, last year I made a video explaining how to participate and another one about how to find projects to contribute to. They're still relevant, so check them out.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in open source as I am. And well, see you in the next video. Bye.